Washing the tractor. I want it clean, Isabella. Welcome back to another great episode of Hoosier Helpers. And today we're going to focus a little bit more on an internal project. We've got a deck project. It's needed to be done since we moved in here. I, I salvaged it out for a couple more years. We, we sanded and stripped and restained it. But it's gotten to a point that we've just got to do something. The railings are getting where they're, they're loose, they're getting dangerous. We've got a hole actually in the floor right now, which is our youngest fell through. And the, the railing over here you can see is quite rotted out. So we're going to rehab this deck. We're hoping the underneath structure is still in really good shape. But we're going to put all new deck boards on it, a new railing around it, and potentially expand the deck a little bit. We've got to dig into it to see what we're going to get into it. But uh, stay tuned and uh, we'll keep you up to date on the, the progress as we come along. So the first thing that we had to do is had to remove these two bushes that were out in front of the deck. And um, I've got video here of the first one coming out. It didn't come out too bad. And obviously the loader wasn't strong enough to just pop it out of the ground, but I was able to rock it back and forth enough and finally it did go ahead and break the roots. And these bushes were originally like 10 foot tall or something like that. They were, they were pretty substantial bushes. And uh, so there goes the first one. So what are you doing right now, Jason? I am disassembling the railing because I want to try to keep the boards as long as possible so we don't have a bunch of pieces to clean up. I'm also putting all the screws into a bucket so we don't run over them with the tractor later. Looks like you got the first one down. Yeah. Just a few more to go. Are you guys helping? Isabel and Gigi? Careful, Isa. Are you helping, Daddy? Good job. Nails in the bucket. Yep, here, Gigi. Go for with the hole. They're screws, technically. Gate's gonna fall on your feet if you don't hold it. Oh my God. There you go, Isa. Hold the gate. Yep, hold it strong. Yeah. All right. Good job, girls. You really did help me. All right, let's go. Yeah. You're going to do high five now? Hold on. High five. High five, Gigi. 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 Good job. Oh, wow. So what are you up to now? Pulling this railing top board off so we can take the railing off probably didn't need to take that off we could probably take the whole railing apart but I want to disassemble it as much as possible try to clean the nails up so that all the junk that we're taking off doesn't have any nails or screws it's kind of a safety concern or you know I don't know where we're gonna dump it so okay oh, good progress so far here Next, I'm going to take this bottom boards off and then we can unzip these little, I forget what these are called. Rails? Uh, no, they're, hey Dan, what are these little boards called? Ballasters. Ballasters. We're going to take these ballasters off and um, we're going to turn them into small clubs for our children. Thanks to the neighbor Dan for borrowing me his his deck wrecker tool. It's How do you use it? the time so far. And Whoa. as you can see, the wood is just rot. This is just ridiculous. But this is what you get when you don't treat a deck for 20 years. And then, you know, we moved in and decided to do something with it, so we we patch it along a little bit, but eventually the boards were going to rot, and that's what we got now. We tried to pull the screws out of the decking board, but it just, it wasn't going to work at all. And what's crazy is they got double floor joists in here. 
here and so I can't use the the tool and some of it so anyway we're, we're gonna get, get by so what can you tell us of your progress today well more about last night we've got over half of it off and most of the screws are cleared so far I've gotten four boards taken off and I'm trying to pull out as many screws as I can because it'll be a lot easier now than after we get the floor off so we'll see hopefully by the day it's done looking good So what are you doing right now? Cutting the old deck up so we can throw it in the truck. Efficiency. <laughs> so we're uh, kind of wrapping up day two. We got all the decking off. There's still a few little pieces to go. We got it all cleaned up and it's loaded in the back of the truck. Well, I just got back from my trip to Menards and you can see it's kind of a, a rainy day today, but Got most of the decking boards that we're going to need. Uh, they were short a little bit. They were short about 10 boards or actually 12 boards. So, um, going to have to wait till they get some more in. But I think we got a good start anyway because tomorrow is supposed to be pretty nice. So, hopefully we can get the post set and uh, the frame put up. So, what are you doing right now, Jason? Digging the holes for the new post. That's going to carry the extension. Got one dug. Um, started on the second one. One more to go. And then um, hopefully that's all we got for hand digging. How deep are they? 36 inches to get below the frost line. And you're doing it all just with? Shovel. Wow. Do you want to tell a little bit about your progress, what you have done? Well, we've got the deck all stripped off. And... Uh, we got the new perimeter boards kind of set so we can start adding on to the floor joist. Got the extension built for the grill. Stripped the uh, post for the stairs so they're ready for uh, new stringers and new steps. So we're, we're making some progress. Looks good. So I'm on my way over to Menards. Um, apparently the stair stringers that we had originally were custom made and uh, the ones I got weren't quite long enough to reach the, um, the bottom of the stairs so or where the, the ground is so got to go buy a couple different ones take the ones I got back and uh, go from there. steps on we're getting the post up and we're gonna start the flooring this afternoon as you can see we've got the extension out on the deck it's extended out we've got the little nook for the grill new beam it's coming along so hopefully by Mother's Day we'll be eating on this thing so here we are on day six of this project what can you tell us about it Jason Day six, it feels like day 10,000. It's like the uh, the pandemic, quarantine. It's the same, it goes on forever. So what do you have done so far? Well, we got over half the decking on, got the steps on, getting closer. Who's this here? Senor Don Jose Guillermo Pepe. Stay tuned, everybody. So interestingly enough, we did a really good job of documenting the, the tear apart of the, the deck in the early stages of redevelopment, but there was no pictures or there was no real video of it as I was putting the railing up and kind of finishing things up. So uh, I've got the steel pictures here. I, I'm going to put them in at the end so everybody can kind of see what it looks like at this point. we still got painting, staining, and things of that nature to do, but it's very usable at this point. So thank you for watching. If you like it, please hit subscribe and um, check out our Facebook page. Thanks. <laughs>